Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. If you have opened Design Space recently and have the new Design Space update 7.20 point whatever, you might be asking, where in the world is my weld button? Well, I wanna walk you through where to find your weld button. Rest assured it is still there. And I wanna talk you through the other changes to Design Space. They are some long awaited changes that I personally am very excited about. If you've done any design work in Illustrator or Silhouette Studios, then you will notice that some of these new changes are very similar to uh, functions and actions that you would see in those other design softwares. I think Design Space is taking some really great steps to creating a interface that will be really easy to design cut files and graphics here in Design Space. So let's go through and talk about the changes that you will find and where to find things that you are familiar with and may be searching for. First and foremost, if you are like several of us, then you may not even have the update 7.20 yet. You can see here that we are running the beta version of this software because the um, public version was not available to us yet. If you want to run this beta version, let me show you how easy it is to do that. You're gonna come here to your hamburger menu and then you're going to press settings. And right here under application experience, yours probably says live. If you want to have access to the beta versions of the software, then click beta. Then you'll press done and it will automatically download the new version for you and install it. Now, if you decide this is not a good version for you, it's super easy just to go back and then click the live version and you will go back to the uh, current public version of the software. Beta softwares, if you're unfamiliar, are still in testing. And so there may be some bugs or weird performance issues that you discover. However, I've not run into any in this current version of the beta software. So really quickly, let's talk about the new features. If you want to find what the new features are, Generally, when you download the newest version, it will automatically pop up with a little box that says what's new. If you don't see that, then you can access it right here under what's new. So right here, you can see these are the updates for 7.20. We have some new buttons, the Unite, Subtract, Intersect, and Exclude options are going to be game changers for designing. And then we also have a new and improved layers panel that also allows us to rename our layers. Now, I don't personally care about this function, but several, several designers and design space users are very excited about it. They have looked for this feature for a long time. So I'm excited that you're excited. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to rename those panels though, or layers. So let's get started looking at the new features. You can see this right here is a little bit different where we used to have group and ungroup. There's only one button here. So for instance, this grouping is currently grouped together. So we just press that to ungroup it. Now, if we wanted to group it back together, we just select the layers and use the same button, but you can see it now has the group option. So it would group back together. So I really like that that's one button now. It never really needed to be two, so that's really convenient. But we, all, we still have the duplicate layer or button here, and we still have the delete button here. Color sync is still here, layers are here. So in the update, the what's new, it did say that there were some updates to the layers panel. Now, right here, it doesn't necessarily look like there are significant updates, but when we dive into the new action features, you're going to see that there is an update. However, let's look at renaming these layers. So if we wanted to rename this layer, we would just double click right here, and then we could type in whatever we wanna type it. We can label this Winnie. If we wanted to name a group, then you just double click the group and we can put Sanderson Sisters as our grouping here. Now, where I might use this is if I had tons and tons of different layers and it became difficult to kind of sort through 
then I could minimize all the individual layers in a grouping and then just select individual groups like this without having to have them expanded. So I could see where that would become beneficial. However, up until this point, because designing in Design Space is not as friendly as using a design software like Illustrator or Affinity or anything like that, um, I never really used a ton of different layers in design space. So I'm thinking that these changes that they're making, again, this is all speculation. I'm thinking that these changes that they're making are going to be really great uh, and will enable us to actually design in design space. I'm hoping that being able to save your work as SVGs and PNG, so exporting your work from design space is in the near future. Again, that's just speculation, but I feel like these changes that they're making are kind of headed in that, that right direction. Anyway, so we can rename and then, um, down here, this is the other big thing. Where is my weld button? Let's find it. The weld button is now found under combine. So if we click this drop down menu, we have the weld option that is right here. We have unite, subtract, intersect and exclude. I'm just going to say this, it may be an unpopular opinion, but because design space has added unite, subtract, intersect and exclude, I feel like the weld option and the slice option are obsolete. I personally will never use those actions again because these actions unite, subtract, intersect and exclude can be undone. So if I use these actions, unite, for instance, it does the same thing as weld in that it takes two or more layers and creates one layer out of it, but it's undoable. Whereas weld is not undoable unless you immediately just press the undo button. I personally, again, this is just speculation. I personally feel like in the future they will eliminate the weld and slice options. I could be wrong, um, but there's really no need for them. So let's talk about it really quickly. Let's ungroup this ungroup. And then say for instance, maybe I want to weld these together. I want to cut all of this out as one piece. So all the ladies hairs here, we'll delete this cause I'm not going to use it in the, in the past, we would click weld just like this and it makes one layer. Now the only way to undo that would be to press undo. If I had welded that and moved on to some other things, I couldn't press undo without undoing all the other things that I had moved on to do. Now, if I want to combine these together, what I can do is come to unite. If I do nothing else right now, this right here will cut out exactly like it would if it were welded together. So it's the same type of thing. However, you can see right here, I still have all of these individual layers, which is really nice. So if I wanted to, if I'm like, oh man, I should have moved Winnie's head up a little bit, Winnie's in the middle, then um, I can just select her layer right here, move it, and then when I click off, it unites it together again. Now, if I decide I don't actually want this united, it's really easy to undo it. I can right click at any point. So I can do some other things with um, this layer. I can, I can do like so many different um, actions here. And I can always come back to this and press undo unite. So at this point, all my layers are still individuals. So that's really, really nice. Now, another thing that I love, I'm gonna undo all of this really quickly, is that slice, if you all are familiar with Design Space at all, slice, you could only slice with two layers at a time. So if I wanted to take this image, let me send all of these to the front really quickly. If I wanted to take these hair images and slice them from this right here, then I would have to do them individually or I would have to weld them together so that they were all one layer. So let's, for instance, change all the colors just for clarification here. And we're gonna size these down so that they fit on top. And then I'm gonna show you that you can use 
a new feature to slice essentially, but you can do more than one layer at a time, which is really nice. Okay, so now that we have all of this placed, what we want to do is select all the layers that we want to use. So I have this one, this one, this one, and this one selected. And I'm gonna come down here to my combine menu and I'm going to press subtract. Now when I press subtract, it slices through these, but I was able to do four layers at one time, which was really nice. And I don't have to delete any slice results that I don't use. The cool thing about this is when we would hit slice in the past, the only way to undo it was to press undo, but we can undo this in the same way that we could undo the unite. So we can change this. If I decide I wanted this piece to be a little bit further down, again, I can just select her head, move it down a little bit. And then when I click off, it does exactly what it's supposed to. If I decide I don't want this sliced out, I want this, these pieces back, then I just right click and press undo subtract. Now I have all of these individual again. So these are really, really cool features. Now let's talk about the other two. I'm not, I, I don't necessarily use these two as much when I'm designing, but they are pretty cool as well. Let's overlap these right here. And I'm going to show you how to use those two. So let's select both of these. We'll come to combine and then intersect. If I see, I see how they're overlapped here. When I press intersect, then this piece that was intersecting is the only piece that's left. So whichever one is on top is what is going to be. So let's pull this one to the front, bring to front. So if this one's on the front and I press intersect, then this is what's left. What is, what is overlapping and on top is what is left. In the same aspect, if I select both of these and press exclude, then what is overlapping is what is cut out. Again, we can change these. If I'm like, I want it overlapped more, then I can select one, bring it over more, and have those options. So it's really, really amazing that it's so editable and that it can easily be undone. Now also there is an option if we decide that we want to unite these together and we are very happy with the placement, we don't wanna ever change this, then we can right click on this. You can right click here or you can do it here, whichever one you want but we can merge these layers. So look what happens when we merge these layers. Once you merge layers, it creates one layer. This is only undoable if we immediately press the undo button. If I make other actions in Design Space and decide I don't want this merged, then I, I can't just easily click a button and go back and do that. For me personally, as a designer, and knowing how things change and how my, uh, how my design process changes over time, I would never do that merge layer. If you're gonna have a ton of layers here and you wanna kind of clean it up for visual purposes, I understand why you would want to, but for me personally, it's just as easy to click this little button and clean this up, but always have the option to undo and move things around. So again, I, I just will not use that, that merge layer option. It's just not beneficial for me personally, the way that I designed to do it, but it is an option if that's what you want to do. So just to reiterate, for those of you who are familiar with the slice option and with weld option, still here, still slice, still weld. However, if you want to move on to these new features, what you will use in place of slice is subtract. Well, what you will use in place of weld is unite. And those are the editable versions of the older actions in Design Space. I hope this video cleared up any questions that you might have about the new Design Space update. I hope that you are excited about these changes. 
I know that for some of you change, especially in a software that you're either just learning or have just learned might be a little bit scary, but that is why we are here at Oak and Lamb. We want to help you. We want to educate you and we want to make you feel empowered with the knowledge that we can share with you so that you can successfully create and design space and not feel left behind or confused. So if you have any questions about any of the stuff that I talked about or any other changes in design space in the future, please reach out to us. If you have questions about this specific video, let us know in the comments below, or you can email us hello at oakandlam.com and we are happy to help you. One way that we love helping our flock here at Oak and Lamb is through our membership. Our membership, you can click the link below and find out more about, but we have an amazing community of crafters who love Cricut as well as so many other craft mediums. We love to educate you and keep you updated with things specifically like this, but also with sublimation, laser cutters, sewing, woodwork, and so much more. Click the link, use the code 35OFF for $35 off our annual membership. And then leave us a comment to let us know that you are a new flock member. We are so excited to be adding to our flock all the time. If you're not a subscriber to the YouTube channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and join our amazing community here in the YouTube channel. It's free to do that. And it's a great way to get plugged in and find out what we are about here at Oak and Lamb. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you here another day for another video.